check. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's get started. Uh, this time, I would like to talk about my own invention, offbeat count practice method. I believe this new method leads your rhythm to the world. Hello, my name is Atsushi Oka, and I was born in 1973. I am a long-standing computer programmer, and I am also a long-standing jazz guitarist. I was born and raised in Kamata, which is located southern Tokyo, but I happened to be interested in jazz music and started to play jazz guitar. The problem is that Japanese jazz sucks. As you may see in this article, Japanese jazz have frequently been criticized as derivative or even as an unworthy imitation of US jazz, both by American and Japanese commentators. In fact, Japanese jazz fans don't listen to Japanese jazz. The reason why Japanese jazz is so bad is that it lacks the rhythm. Jazz should be dynamic, but Japanese jazz isn't, or even static. But why such difference is occurred? No one knows. I really wanted to know why. So in 2005, I started to go abroad and wandering in Southeast Asia to find out why. Soon after I started to wander the world, I encountered to a dialect of a language which name is uh, Lao Isan dialect. Isan people have a thick culture of music. They have a distinct way to rhyme and it sounds like American rap music. I somehow feel that if I studied this mu language, I would be able to play jazz music as well. And I also felt that acquiring this language could make me able to speak English too. I have been wandering the area for 12 years and I have become to be able to speak Lao Isan dialect. Then I came back to Japan. Then I realized that I became to be able to play jazz music even though I haven't practiced guitar while I was wandering as I predicted before. And that time is also the time when my reverse culture shock was started. While I was being suffered with the reverse culture shock, I noticed that when I listen to music, I can tell if the player is from Japan or not by listening to it, only by listening to it. And an annoying problem started. When I was when I play jazz music in a jam session, Japanese musicians are often not able to play with me. While I play, Japanese musicians get disoriented and their rhythms will go unstable and finally stop. Oftentimes, they also get pissed even though I am just playing my guitar. That was quite a problem. Therefore, I started to find out why they get disoriented when I play. The first thing comes to my mind is this music. When I was in Thailand, this music was the thing. At that time, this music was being played everywhere. I was interested in this music too, but I searched the internet with the keyword Woka Woka, but I couldn't find the music. It was very strange, but it was very strange because the music was played everywhere. Everyone should know about it, but I couldn't find any information about it. It took a while that I found out the song was actually called Kawo Kawo, not Woka Woka. When I listened to the, this music, I thought this was Woka Woka, while Thai people thought this was Kawo Kawo. 
This interested me. I felt that this was the fundamental difference between Thai people and Japanese people. Later, I noticed that the way Thai people count the rhythms is completely opposite of the way Japanese people do. Two, three, four, one, two, three. As you can hear, the rhythm of Thai people always ends in one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You may think this is so obvious and natural that you have never thought about it, but this is very important when you think about characteristics of Japanese rhythm. I call this rhythm as Taylor line rhythm. <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three. This, this is the Japanese rhythm. Uh, you, you will never find Japanese people count four. As you may see here, the beat four is always missing. What I realize is that Japanese people completely ignore the notes before the beats one they even do not notice they exist and i also realized that this is also the reason why japanese people are not good at english thai people are usually able to speak english without studying without studying while japanese people are not in spite of that they are usually studying english for decades I thought this was an important discovery, so I started to teach my teach to my friends and musicians, but unfortunately, they don't understand. This is the reason why I decided to verbalize my thought. I created a blog named What is Japanese Rhythm? I have written 57 articles and I have got 991 page views. I wrote about rhythms in Twitter too. In Twitter, I have acquired 13,000 followers. Some professors in universities are also interested in my articles. This is a kind of success. And I invented a method to correct this bias of the rhythm recognition of Japanese people. This is the offbeat count training method. Most people ignore my new method. But one of my friends found it interesting. This is Dice Kesano, professional jazz drummer. He practiced the method 10 hours a day for more than two years, and the outcome was amazing. Now he's very successful. He's very popular among the jazz scene in Tokyo now. Now he also teaches my Tokyo Heart method to his students. It's also successful, as you can see here. I made a business plan. I want to create an institution, which is like one of those current dojos. I want to make it franchise and build branches all over the world. My commitments are, we let you groove via my offbeat count practice method. Offer a way to play good jazz. We happen to let you speak English in case you can't. My kokorozashi is to fuse multiple peoples. Each peoples have a distinct form of waves. And I believe my outfit count method offers the way to control the form of the waves. Fusing people causes conflicts. I dare to create those. I want to convert the conflicts to happiness via my offbeat count method. I don't think avoiding conflict is a good idea since it often disrupts communications. I would rather want more conflict, conflicts and convert them into something constructive, such as music. I really want to popularize this to the world.
If you are interested, please attend to my alphabet count practice clinic, which is held every month. Please check yes to the KBM survey. Thanks. Thank you very much.